All right, guys, so with all of the talent assembled in one place, we wanted to see what your favorite matchup or kind of marquee matchup would be coming into Worlds. Now, it, you can obviously go on and talk forever, so we're adding in the death timers. You're gonna have 45 seconds to talk about the matchup that you think will be the marquee matchup coming into Worlds. I believe, yeah. Freak, we will start with you. Yeah, well, we're here in Paris. They're known for baking very good things, so they should bake us some apple pie. I want to know how North America's premier bot lane of Rush Hour is going to do up against the Koo Tigers with Prey and Gorilla. Prey and Gorilla are very well-respected players. They're among the very best in Korea. Gorilla's kind of, I would say, most known for bringing Janna to the world stage and making everyone realize this is a good champion, so he's an innovator as well. And so seeing how Doublelift and Afro can do against two of the, the most experienced Koreans in the world stage, and, and you know, they're known for winning lane in North America, they're known for being the best bot lane in North America, they're known for winning games by themselves. CLG, though they're still a fairly branched out team, still does center a lot around Doublelift, so seeing how those two are going to do, and basically just to prove that North America has a talent pool, that North America has good players, because I really do believe in NA this year. I said a few months ago, we're going to see oh, two. Oh, you're done. Okay. That was great. Fantastic. Ooh. Quick shot. You now have the <laughs> pavement, cobblestone, what have you. Take it. Okay, let's go. I, I'm going to look at Group D. I think my marquee matchup has to be the AD carries of Imp and Niels. Both of these guys are outspoken. They are confident. They have bravado for days, and they do not crack under pressure. These are guys who can single-handedly carry games. They can turn an entire team fight, they can turn an, an entire match, they can turn the group stage in favor of their particular squads. I also do not think Niels has a penchant for wanting to cry. This is something that Imp has a history of making his opponents do. So I want to see whether or not the European talent, the European rookie of the split, the guy that came up and made Origin an absolute threat, will be able to stand up, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of Imp, with the likes of LGD, and I really want to see how Niels is going to be able to carry All right, himself. tissues or not, you feel like that's going to be a fantastic game. <laughs> Prepo, we're moving on to you. What do you feel is going to be the marquee matchup here? Uh, as a long-term Western fanboy and player, I'm just looking at two Western mid laners here, Xpeke against Bjergsen. I think Origin as a team, in every position except mid, have more talent or they have the better player compared to TSM currently, but I think the, the mismatch there is in the mid lane, and TSM's strongest player is Bjergsen, Origin's weakest player is Xpeke, and I think that's where it can go wrong for them, because the amount of resources TSM consistently funnels into Bjergsen, including jungle camps, you know, tower gold, even farm share post uh, 15 to 30 minutes, is significantly more than what Xpeke gets from Origin. He usually has to clean up, he plays the utility role, doesn't really get to have any ganks, so if TSM gets their synergy together, gets Santorin ganking from Bjergsen, that matchup can win, spill over, and win over the entire map for TSM. Wow, you, wow. you had three yeah, seconds to spare. <laughs> I'm gonna give you that. You wanna say anything to your fans? Uh, Trepo win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen, thank you for that. While I have my own opinion and critiques on your performances, they went well. We wanna know what you think and who won. Send a tweet to at LOLEsports along with the hashtag Crepo1 if you think he made the best case, or you can go with Quickshot1 if you think Quickshot said it the best, or of course, Freak1 if you want to go in that punny direction.